Bruno, Bruno, Bruno came from sport and like Cristiano. He goes left, he goes right, makes your defenders look shite. He's our Portuguese magnifico. Woo! Welcome back. What a win. What a win. 5-1 on the opening day of the season against Leeds, who we don't like. We have a rivalry with Leeds. Yeah, it might be kind of dead and gone because they've not been in the Premier League. They're only back in it a year and a bit. And we end up smashing them. We smashed them. The last time we played them, I think it was the start of the season last year. Um, and we did. We had a good game. We won. There was lots of goals. But today was different. Today was brilliant. I was really happy with the starting lineup. Um, maybe one or two. I was a bit. I was questioning it a bit. But I think we started really, really well. Um, we definitely looked most likely to score. It was so, so good to see the fans back. Old Trafford was buzzing. Old Trafford was full. It was just such a good atmosphere. And not to mention, before the game, Raphael Varane came out with his jersey. And I honestly felt like crying. I just felt like, oh, finally, finally, he's here. Um, oh my god, but anyway, to start the game, Bruno Fernandes, of course, on the score sheet. It was a really, really good finish. Moments before Paul Pogba probably could have got a goal similar to that, like himself. Um, but he didn't manage to get it away. He was kind of kicking himself, you saw it. It was a very good chance. But then Bruno comes up. Of course, it's Bruno, my fantasy football captain, who I'm delighted about, obviously. Um, but it was just such a good finish. Such a good finish. And... Um, yeah, so we go in at half time, 1-0, very happy with it, we definitely looked the better team. Leeds were, you know, they had a bit, they troubled us a little bit, but it wasn't something that I was too worried about. Um, and then they come out and literally in two minutes they get an equaliser. Um, and Luke Ayling, it was such a good goal, it was one of them, you just, it was a, a belter, you couldn't really do anything about it. Yeah, you don't want um, players being able to take shots from, from there. Um, but it was just a really, really good goal, a really good connection on the ball and perfectly placed. Um, so yeah, one all, oh, it was a bit, Jesus. But we didn't have long before Greenwood takes the lead back and oh my God, brilliant from Greenwood. Again, clinical, clinical striker, really cool finish. The ball just kind of came to him and I was like, oh, I don't think he's going to get this. And he did, he got it, he bombed down and he just finished it so effortlessly. And this is... This is the scary thing. Mason Greenwood is 19 years old. I'm old enough to be his teen mom. And he just puts that away like it was like it was nothing, like it was out playing with his mates. Um so 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Then of course Bruno Bruno comes back and people can call Bruno Fernandez Penandez all they want. He scored again. And then again, he scores a hat-trick, his first ever hat-trick for Manchester United. And Honestly, you just couldn't. I was so happy. I was so happy. Bruno Fernandes gets so much stick and people need to realise he is the best player in the Premier League right now. He was last season, in my opinion. He scores goals for fun. Yes, he scores a lot of penalties, but today he scores a hat-trick and not one of those are penalties. So the haters are probably dying inside. They are probably hating their lives. Um, and massive, massive shout out to Paul Pogba. What a game today. He may have missed a really good opportunity to get us a goal early on in the game. But my God, did he did he come back and, and show just how good he is. And this is the type of player Paul Pogba is. On his day, he can create so much. He got four assists. Four assists. We scored five goals. Fred. Fred scored. Father Fred gets his goal. Pogba assisted so brilliantly. Again, it, was, it looked almost effortless. He just, the class, the vision, just putting those balls in, especially for that one for Fred. Um, it was just a lovely little cross in on the left-hand side, puts it in, Fred finishes it. It was actually a nice finish. Um, but Papa, four assists, absolutely brilliant. Kind of raging I didn't put him in my fancy team. But um, yeah, like, this is the type of Paul Pogba that I want to see more of. I feel like um, there's some games that he kind of doesn't show what he's got. And if he can continue playing like that this season and just proving how good he is and showing people what he is all about, then I'll be happy, whether he stays, whether he leaves. Um, this is the Paul Pogba that we all like to see. And he was smiling. And even when he assisted, I think the second assist, uh, Bruno Fernandes was like pointing to Pogba, like, you know, give him the credit because 
he is class and the fans need to realise that. Um, and sometimes myself, I'm, I'm a critic of Pogba um, when it comes down to performances and his arsehole manager. But at the end of the day, Paul Pogba playing well is a brilliant thing for us and I am happy. I want him to do it all day long. So, Bruno has an assist. Mason Greenwood on the score sheet and Fred on the score sheet. Lindelof gets an assist also, which is very good for him. I'm sure Rafael Varane coming in will make him a little bit nervous, like, hang on, what have I done wrong? Why am I gonna be the one cast away, cast aside out with a certain lineup because Rafael Varane? And so I'm sure this is gonna be good for Lindelof. He's gonna be like, I need to up my game. And he got an assist today on the opening day. Um, also back to Pogba, four assists in less than 90 minutes, let's say 70 minutes, I think that's when they made changes, 72. So Pogba has four assists in that time. Last season, he had three assists. Three assists. He's already beaten last season. So yeah, what a start. What a start. I was not expecting five goals from United. Um, Bruno Fernandes third to, to get the hat-trick. It was one of them. It was like clear as day over the line. Leeds tried to tried to get away with it, tried to make out that it wasn't, but it was well in. You heard the crowds as soon as it went, the shot was taken. I'm not sure who tried to clear it off the line, but they were just too far back. And the crowd went nuts. That was it. Um, I'm so happy for Bruno. I really am. He's my favourite player. And he's already gotten his hat-trick, his first ever for Manchester United, which is massive. Absolutely massive. So... If you are a Bruno Fernandes hater, you need to just calm yourself. He was a bargain. We paid like 50 million for him. 50 million euro, I think. And, and people still think that Bruno Fernandes is a fraud. He's a penalty merchant. He is amazing and you need to put some respect on his name. Oh my God, I'm buzzing. I'm so happy the Premier League is back. I actually feel so happy. How I missed this. How I missed singing Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Like, it's just so good. And to start the season off with a really good win because last season we didn't have the best to start. And I really think last season, if we had started decent, it could have been a lot different. You know, I know we came second and all, but it was a bit it was a bit of a letdown to start the season last season. So to have this, to have the fans, to have an excitement about new players coming in, and um, Jaden Sancho got a few minutes today. Didn't really see too much of him, but from what I did see, um, definitely looks like a good player, good vision. Um, you know, he's always looking to to create something. He's got good touch. He's confident, and yeah, like obviously I've seen Jaden Sancho play a good bit, not too much, um, but like in the Champions League and stuff, I've definitely seen him, and I like what I see. But I look forward to seeing more of Jaden Sancho and him being integrated into the squad. Um, more and of course Rafael Varane coming in we don't know when exactly that will be but hopefully it'll be soon and um, but yeah I think everyone played very very well today obviously you've got people who give out about Fred and Scott McTominay and um, they call them Mac Fred which I hate that name but anyway they did very well I think Scott started very well but you could see maybe he wasn't as um, energetic uh, in the second half but anyway it comes off Matic comes in I think Matic is brilliant he's just not really he can't play 90 minutes for sure. Um, but when he does come on, he did a job. I would have liked him to see Danny van der Beek. I feel like, hopefully, I, I fingers crossed, Danny van der Beek gets more time this season because he looks like he has bulked up um, and he looks like he's hungry to go. So let's hope that we see a bit more of Danny van der Beek. But that was an incredible, incredible opener on <laughs> this Saturday early kickoff. I don't really like early kickoff, but honestly, I'm gonna be in such a good mood the whole rest of the weekend And I hope you are too. I hope you enjoy your day Arsenal lost yesterday. They got beaten by Brentford and um, which is such an Arsenal thing to do and United Start off against Leeds who are a very very good side very fast very energetic And they give it all for 90 minutes and we just showed what we can do in the class nice to see Anthony Martial back um, but yeah, I'm buzzing. I am buzzing. I'd love to know your comments uh, on what you thought on the game. Drop drop your thoughts in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Drop a like on the video if Bruno Fernandes is your man of the match or your fantasy football captain like mine. And I will chat to you soon for another video. Enjoy your day.